Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to record your animation at 1080 high quality on a low-end laptop. So you're going to need these following. But this Macro Gamer, especially, this will be linked in the bio. This Macro Gamer. So you already have Roblox Studio. So open up your animation and I will link Adobe Premiere Pro as well in the description to so all what you need now it's time to open up roblox studio okay over to roblox studio you open your animation okay make sure you open fraps and macro gamer so first you want to go to macro gamer and then you will get this profile you go to file i'll put the download link in the description load profile like that then you download it and then you click on go to download and you go like this click on that open it and you will get render so one more thing you want to do is you're gonna find the end of your animation so right now this animation is quite long so I'm gonna stop it right about here you see that number in the bracket on the other side that's the number you're gonna use. The number you're gonna use. So mine says two 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 hundred and twenty two. It says two hundred and twenty two. These are the best settings that's on Micro Gaming right now. So we said it. You have to use the arrows as well. You can't just type it in. It won't work. I'll keep going back to what was previous there. So let me just put up uh Okay, use the arrow real quick. Okay, 222. Oh, that was close. I thought we got in one try. Then you click OK. That's the amount of time that it's gonna stop. It's gonna stop right at the end. It's not gonna take too much pictures. So, you wanna click on Run. And most importantly, most of you guys might wonder how to stop it. You can press F3 to, on your keyboard to start and stop it. So, that's the most important thing. But it will automatically stop. You can stop it at any time by pressing F3. You will hear that Macro Gamer is disabled. So, now that you click run, go to your animation. Click one on your keyboard. No, wait. Go to that little logo side that looks like a device. Most of y'all setting might be different for actually first time, but most experienced animators have this set. So fit to Windows, then go down to AD, 1080, or whatever you like. We prefer 720 or 1080, okay? For now, I'm gonna go with 1080. So after you went with 1080, you come back out and now you go to studio settings you can do L plus S and then you're gonna change the quality by default it might be up there so go to edit quality and then what the heck editor quality level oh that's new because it wasn't like that in the previous okay anyways you're gonna set this to level maximum 21 or what whatever you prefer so close so that's it you basically just close this right here okay compute your f you might lose fps now you want to click on the moon animator and click one on your keyboard to go to the first frame there you go now that you went to the first frame on your computer you're gonna go to fraps you might get a free version, but free version has a screenshot on it. You can use it. So first thing first, you want to set a hotkey to you. And now after the hotkey is set to you, you're going to select PNG or JPG. And which one you prefer. It doesn't really matter. So you're going to click change. And you will be greeted with the screenshot folder. So you scroll down. 
it would, it would be on the screenshot because if it's your first time using Fraps, so you can make a folder on your desktop or inside Fraps. So I'm gonna just create a new folder. Damn, that's how many times I tried before. Just, so I'm gonna make new folder, give it a name. I'm gonna just name it. Yeah, that doesn't that have any. I just name it like that. Then click OK. Click OK. And there we go. Reset, minimize. And the next thing you want to do is go to select your animation. Make sure you select inside the box. If it is inside the box, when you click on your keyboard to render it, it wouldn't move. So make sure that Macro Game is running as well. So let's go open the Macro Game. Make sure it's on run. Yep, everything check. It will stop right there automatically. So just click OK. You did all that step. Stop. It will stop right there. So, OK. Now click Run on your keyboard. Now click Run and make sure that you, first you want to make sure that oh you want to make sure that you select your you select inside the box if you don't select inside the box it will render it non-stop it will not move so if it makes a move press r on your keyboard two to collide it does to reduce the lag so basically now you want to just click r on your keyboard once you click r the character should move it should make one picture should take one picture and then move the character so once it's going like that you did everything correctly so now we'll move on to when it's finished it takes time but it's time it, it's worth it okay so now okay guys currently I'm doing a voiceover probably you can tell because I don't know what happened to the microphone. So now that the animation is finished, you can close the animation. Uh, close Roblox Studio. Reduce the lag. Maybe you come back later and see that. So you can reduce the settings afterward. Close Fraps and Micro Gamer. I close Frap first right now. Yeah, damn voiceovers. So now we're gonna move on to Adobe Premiere Pro. Link is gonna be in the description. So let's go. Description. Hold up. Oh wait. First thing first, you wanna locate those screenshot you took earlier. Do so you wanna go to this PC? Go to where you located. I'm going to Fraps. Go to Fraps. Then go to Screenshots. And then I'll locate my folder where I took the screenshot and I end up making two folders at once so 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 select all of these images you can use control a and drag it but we haven't opened up the uh, scene the uh, video editor yet so now all you need to do is open up the video editor and then you're good to go you have one extra frame, but that's all right. So now go to Adobe Premiere Pro. So you located your screenshot, and then Control A, like all of them. Oh, I almost forgot. Hold up, hold up. Let me unselect it. You can select all up there as well. Okay, and drag it. Yeah, right here I did mess up. Do not import them yet. So click on edit. Go to preferences. Go to timeline. That's how we do it. Timeline. No. We gotta go here. wait a bit. And then make sure you go to still image duration. So like that to zero point one zero. 
make sure that it's selected by default you might have 1.00 so make sure that it's like next you want to go to media then select the fps i'm gonna go with 48 fps you can go whatever you want the move 48 fps <coughs> okay the right there i selected that and I click okay okay might change a little okay now drag those photos over here right in that import media box it's gonna get imported it shouldn't take a long time well it didn't for me i don't know yeah it shouldn't it's just images so right after it's finished like that if you end up selecting it one of them by mistake like all of them is already selected if you end up doing that you can do control plus a and then or you can select you can create new sequence and then choose these options if you're if you're like pro but that's not needed you don't really need to do this this is if you want these are preset so preset video editing sequences so close that hold up control plus a drag those photos drag those photos in the timeline hold up i have to do it again in the timeline after you drag it in the timeline mine is kind of loading right now okay there we go now one more thing before you get started you want to select all of it sync inside the in and out you can drag to select or click control plus a now right click i think it's left click bro yeah left click or right click no nah, it's obviously right click so speed and duration you can just click and drag to your left after you did that make sure you can type it in if you want you can click repo and edit make sure that box is selected or else it will be a part so that is a must so you gotta select okay now the video will get shorter as you can see if you try playing it now it's gonna be it's kind of glitchy for me because i i'm recording it's kind of laggy to my edit Fiber. now you want to export it you can export it by going over to file come on mouse go over to file oh yeah i remember i told you guys if your images in isn't fit in the right place you can always go down to the bottom right click on select all of them right click and then select set to frame size Okay, after you did that now it will fit in the box if you have a black lot black box around the edge so now select file go to file okay it's kind of loaded export media that's how you do it now right here you don't want to mess up okay it's loading Oh my god. Okay, now it's loaded. It just gave me a flash bomb. Okay. First, you want to select sequence in and out. Make sure that's selected. Mine's already selected. And then you go to format. Make sure it's on H.264. That is the MP4 format. Format. Or you can select others if you want, but that's the right one. Or we. So you can go to output and select the location you want the video 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 to be after you so that's where my files are save now you can do anything else you want otherwise from the settings i mean yeah then you're gonna export it it shouldn't take long it should be really easy it depends on how long you run how many friends you got but it shouldn't take not at least 
Just less than a minute or so. Depends. So we just gonna wait until. See. I'm right about to skip to the next part. Uh, now. There we okay, guys. After you finish, you're gonna see a blue thing at the side. It might play a little sound. Okay, so I'm gonna close this right now. And you can close the folder or delete images that you used before, or you can save them. Okay, so I'm not gonna save this uh, sequence. Okay, so I'm gonna save the folder though. So, what I'm gonna do is go to the video I rendered to the output location. Go to the output location where you selected. Now it should be still pretty smooth. Okay, you just open it. Okay, it should be really smooth. It's almost like you recorded it with a computer with a GTA. Yeah, that's how we do it, bro. So smooth. Okay, guys, that's it's very smooth. I can't stop playing it over and over again. So, yeah. Then that was it. Let me play it one more time. Let me just go back to the front of the frame and then hit play. Yeah, it's quite laggy because I'm recording right now. But if I put, I put, I'm, I'm doing a voiceover right now because I actually turned my mic on and was talking, but now I have to do a voiceover. But, anyways, thanks for watching. I didn't edit this video that much. So you guys can get a full understanding of what I'm doing. And yeah. It tended to blow beer and I'm, I'm out. Also, I will be doing more tutorials like this. I think the next one I'll be doing is how to rig a car. From scratch, doors, wheels, everything. So, peace.